What's up freaks? Uh, just wanted to check in with you before the weekend. I don't have a super sexy blog for you today. We were supposed to have a shoot on Wednesday and it got canceled, unfortunately. We were all packed up and ready to go, as you see in the following clip. Hey Kai. Yo, what's up freaks? We were supposed to film an episode of Anchors to Asphalt today, but it got canceled. Sad camera guy. It's okay, so what do we do on days where we can't go shoot? Drink coffee. What else? Watch YouTube videos. What else? But so is life. So uh, we dove into some editing. In fact, I thought I was gonna dive into some editing, but then I got sidetracked thinking about Instagram and thinking about Instagram strategies. So what I actually ended up doing was creating little one minute clips from our movies and starting to upload those to Instagram to uh, kind of share like mini stories without having to watch the whole video you get like something that I think is like a core part of the story. Okay, what else? I gotta leave here in about an hour to go catch up uh, uh, on a lunch meeting to talk about some cool things that are coming up. I just wanted to do a couple of clerical things and maybe sort a few projects out so that maybe I can do some editing on the weekend. We have a Dark Tranquility uh, project that I'm really eager to get edited and put out because I've already released the making of and everybody's asking, well, where's the movie? Secretly, there is no movie. No, there is a movie. So I'll try to get that done. So it gets out to you guys soon. We have a couple of other episodes that are ready and ready to release and waiting on a few approvals. And next week uh, is going to be a cool week. Uh, we'll be prepping for a shoot that comes up in two weeks. A very exciting one. I just found out yesterday that it looks like it's going to work out and it's one I'm really excited about. And I think you will be too. It's too early to tell you much about that, but I promise when the time is right, uh, you will know what we know. And next week, we have a special guest coming around to the moon base. We're gonna do some vlogging. I'm not gonna tell you what that is yet. Stay tuned next week. And finally, before we go, uh, over the weekend, perhaps some of you will be doing some reading. I certainly like to read when I have some time free or when I'm on the commute or whatnot, or in between doing some edits just to take a break, clear the mind a little bit. I wanted to share with you a few things that I'm reading now or things that I'm ongoing reading. First of all, daily. I'm reading The Hollywood Reporter. So The Hollywood Reporter is a industry magazine from Hollywood and uh, it basically covers the whole industry. So movies, television, they do a lot of stuff with fashion and where to eat in LA and New York and stuff like that. But I really read it primarily for, you know, nerdy stuff about movies and TV shows, but also because they talk a lot about the streaming industry, about Netflix, about what Amazon's doing. And this is the kind of stuff that I need to stay up to date on. And The Hollywood Reporter is the best for that. And it's a cool, big print, glossy magazine with ads and uh, cool articles and fun stuff and so highly recommend it if you're in the film industry this is like maybe the New York Times of I mean maybe people say variety is that but I like Hollywood Reporter so screw ya okay uh, a cool book I read recently a little book I picked up in maybe Bratislava at a bookstore um, or Prague I can't remember but you know it, I would have go to a city and I uh, and I don't really speak the language I go to the bookstore I always look for the English section and they usually have like a collection of sort of uh, popular nonfiction stuff this is from George Lois, one of our great American admin who is also a strong civil rights advocate it just basically has nuggets of good advice damn good advice for people in the creative industries. So it's kind of a little bit about how to use your craft, how not to sell your soul, and how to remember to focus on important issues in the world and not to be a jerk. I recently finished this book. This book is called Awakening the Music Industry in the Digital Age. I got this on Amazon. It's from Mark Mulligan um, at um, Medea Research. And Medea Research and Mark Mulligan, they basically do research on streaming and digital music and all of the things that are important there. And this book is basically saying how we've gotten to where we are with streaming music, with digital music, digital downloads, how the industry has shifted from physical. And it also offers tips on how the future could be, you know, how we could embrace this new streaming world and digital world and artists can still make money and people can still have industry and business and stuff and highly recommended Mark Mulligan, Awakening, bam. 
Very cool, just finished this. Hashtag Ask Gary V book, which is basically, he does a YouTube series called Ask Gary V and people call in with questions and he answers them, you know. And uh, this is kind of a compilation, best of, broken down into chapters and topics. And if you're an entrepreneur, if you're building a business, doesn't matter what it is, restaurant, shoe company, t-shirt, bar, film company, uh, highly recommend it. It's entertaining and it's full of good advice and yeah, motivation, so. Check that out. I also really, really love rock bios, obviously, because uh, you know I make them as movies. But this is a gym I just finished, um, actually a couple weeks ago now, um, before we shot the Into the Machine episode with Devin Townsend. And this is Devin's biography. And if you like Devin's music, if you're into his work, I highly recommend you to read this because he really opens up about his journey, his process, and, and how he's gotten to where he is and how his life has affected his music and so forth. And he also breaks down some nuts and bolts things that I think are really interesting for musicians like what does it cost to tour and you know the, the realities of the financial side of being in a band and trying to make a living, which is something we also tried to address on our show Ghost of the road but he talks about that pretty candidly in here so if you're in a band and especially if you like Devin's music highly recommend you read this it's from rocket to it won't stop rocket 88 yeah from England um, I've, I've read uh, other books from them they did the dream theater biography a couple of years ago and uh, the book of Opeth which I actually have here too if you want to see that I can show that to you great publishing company so next up this is the history of MTV and naturally it's interesting to me because we're kind of building a music channel and I have some philosophies and opinions about music videos and their place in the world today and uh, maybe we'll do a separate video for that because that's a longer topic maybe we'll get some guests to come in to talk about that yeah L let me know now in the comments if you want me to do that to talk about my my opinion about the music video industry now okay but this is the history of MTV and this is awesome I mean if you're like me a kid of the 80s this tells you how it all started and and when you look back on some of those early videos and you're like what were they thinking you quickly realize what they were thinking they weren't thinking they had no idea what they were doing because they didn't know how to make music videos because before MTV music videos didn't really exist it's a pretty cool history of the invention of an art form so highly recommend this it's also full of scandalous sex drugs and rock and roll so fun read I want my MTV it's out on Penguin Books, I think. A plume book? I thought it was Penguin. Whatever. You get the idea. Catch it on Amazon. Focus. That's a problem with this camera. It's a little bit slow. So if I, if I want to be quick at the draw and be like, bam! Uh, took a little while. Okay. Finally, I am reading David E. Gelke's. Gelke? Gelke? Sorry, David, I hope, that's, I hope I'm not butchering your name. This is called Damn the Machine. It's the history of Noise Records, the German-based um, record label that kind of dominated the power metal scene, I guess, in the 80s and 90s. Uh, bands like Gamma Ray, Halloween, gosh, who else? Hellhammer, Celtic Frost, Creator, Voivod, Running Wild, they all got their start on Noise Records and it's a little bit of a, a history of, of noise records and also a history of the man who started all of it. So the founder is uh, Karl Ulrich Walterbach and he was, in, he was in Berlin back in the early 80s when, uh, you know what, just read it. I'm, I'm not actually very far, you can see I'm not very far into it. So this is not a book review, but if you're interested in those bands and uh, if you're interested in, in, in the history of this uh, pretty stellar uh, record label, it's... I, th I think you should definitely check this out and uh, the, the writing is superb and uh, Hansi Kirsch does uh, from B Blind Guardian does the foreword. It is out in Germany, Iron Pages Books. I think this is the German distributor. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I can find a link for a US distributor. Anyway, it's got to be on Amazon. Maybe I can put links to all this stuff down below. That would be super cool of me and not super lazy if I didn't do it. So uh, if you want, I'll do that. Okay, check this out. It would be awesome. There you have it. Okay, that's what I'm reading. Let me know what you're reading. I think that's it for this week. So enjoy the vlog. 
Have a great weekend. Freaks out.